All right, my friends, time for another fantastic Reddit tip. All right, it has come to me twice. I'm telling you twice here in the last month. People are asking me, how do I turn the colored ductwork and pipes that are coming in from the mechanical file that I linked in? How do I change those to black and white? And so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And you guys know what I'm talking about. You link in a mechanical file and you look at it and they've got their supply air one color and the return air another color. And they've got their hot water pipes one color and their cold water pipes another color. So that's a color coming in from the MEP file. So first, before I tell you how to stop it, I'm going to show you how they do it because Back in the day, before I figured out how to change them all to black, I would open up the MEP file and fix it in there and then link it back into my project and it looked fine. But then I would have to do that every single time that they give me an updated file. And now that I'm often working on BIM 360, I can't be opening their file and changing things. So we, you got to figure out how to do it inside your own project and not in the mechanical file. Okay, here we go. I'm going to share my screen. Share screen. There it is, shared screen. Okay, <clears throat> what we've got here, friends, what I did was I opened up the basic project that comes with Revit, okay? So I didn't build this. I am not the mechanical guy. I don't know diddly about ductwork or, well, I know that there's ductwork above the ceiling and I know that incoming air comes through the supply vent. And I know that if there's a vent over there, it's either going into a plenum or it's going out through an exhaust duct. So a, re a return duct or, a, or an exhaust duct, whatever. Basically, I, that's all I know, okay? But I do know how they colorize things and how to turn it black back in the architecture file. So that's what matters to me. So that's what you're going to learn right now. Okay, so here we go. In here, it's really difficult in the mechanical file for these guys to keep these things organized if they're not colored. It makes sense. You want to be able to see which ones are of the different types, okay? So let me just explain how they typically do it, okay? So, okay, <clears throat> the, some of these ducts are supply air and some are return air. And Well, let me just go down and show you. If you... In their project, here's what they do. They scroll down, and if you're an MEP guy, you can correct me down in the comments, okay? I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm just, this is how I think you do it, okay? If you scroll down into the project, you'll come to a category called duct systems, okay? And if you expand in their project, this is what they see. It's a mechanical file. And if you expand duct systems, they have exhaust air, they've got return and supply air. Okay. They've also, let me just scroll further. Look at this the piping systems. <laughs> what? They've got domestic cold and hot water, they've got fire protection water, hydronic supplies and returns. Blah, 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 sanitary lines and vents. They've got, they've got all the piping and oftentimes they colorize it so that they can see it quickly in their 3D views and they can also route things quickly and they can understand their plans really well when they're colorized. But we don't want them colorized. You'll notice on screen, it is not colorized. So here's how they apply the color. I'm just gonna go up to the ducts, okay. If you look here, you will see, I, I'm just gonna double click on this one, exhaust air. And again, where am I? I'm in the families under duct systems. If I double click exhaust air, double click it, the dialog box that comes up is right here, look at this, 
graphic overrides. And if you click that button, it's, it's under my face. Why is it always under my face? Okay. Why can't it just come up right there? Okay. And so they click on a color and let's just change it green. Okay. 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 And if I look now on screen, wait for it. There's not very much green. <laughs> okay. Maybe there's no exhaust stuff here. Whatever. Um, mm -mm -mm. Let me. Oh, no. Shaded. If I go shaded, then I just see everything in the natural color of, of dirt. Okay, gray. I'm going to go back to hidden lines. Okay, exhaust air. Let me just make sure I did this right. Okay, exhaust. Maybe they don't have an exhaust. I ch made the, oh, I didn't change the override. Override green. Okay. Okay. Oh, I didn't hit. Okay. Uh, you guys probably saw that coming and didn't tell me. Okay, there. Those are the exhaust lines. See how they turn green? I'm going to double click on return air and I'm going to make it magenta. I just changed the color to, oh, wait, that's even prettier than magenta. Okay, okay, okay. So now return air, which is not very much, is just a little return air system down here. Okay, and supply air. I'm just going to double click that and go to the graphic overrides for supply air. I'm going to make it blue. Okay. All right. Okay. There we go. Supply air. So see what I've done? What they do, they colorize the different systems. So then if I hit save, watch this, save, save. I'm going to, um, now I'm not going to go and do all the pipes. You guys, you understand what I'm going with this? Now I am going to, I hit save on that file and I am going to file close. I'm going to close it. Okay. And then I'm going to link it here into my little tiny architects file. And so wait for it. I'm going to say file. Um, where am I? Mm -hmm. Oh, not file. Insert link Revit file. And I'm going to link. Mike's basic sample project. I called it Mike's because I make it easy on myself to find it. Okay, I'm going to link that in. Wait for it. Origin to origin is good. Open. It's going to come in in this 3D view. Okay, wait for it. It's big. It's going to overpower my little building. Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom. Ah! Okay, so it is like on top of my little building but let me show you what i'm talking about move my face over here this view is set to discipline of coordination i'm going to switch it to mechan if i switch it to architectural it's going to look about the same as um, coordination just about the same wait and quit spinning there i don't i didn't see anything change if i switch the discipline to mechanical it's going to switch to a mechanical view, and you're going to see what I'm talking about here. Wait, wait, there, look at that. Okay, so the colors came in like they always do when you guys link in an MEP file. Everything's colorized the way that they want it. And oftentimes we have this on, let me set my, um, um, turn. I'm turning off my view template so that I can quickly switch this button down here to, I'm gonna switch it to just hidden line. So it's normal, wait, not shaded. Hidden line is, look at that. It looks just exactly like it did back in their project, okay? And I'm gonna cut a section through here. Let's say I go to my floor plan of my building, <laughs> okay? And my, my little architect's office is right down in the center of this thing. All right, let me just grab this section cut. I'm going to move it up here to some place in the building, okay? All right, now my section cut is up here, and I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to right-click on it and say go to view. Here's my section. See, the 
All the ducks are blue and green and magenta, blah, 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 because that's how the mechanical guys do it. So now we come to the crux of the matter, how to get these things black. Like I want them, I need them to be black in this view, okay? It's the, the best way to do this in the architect's file is using a filter, okay? So here we go, simple as that, filter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my view template to none so that I have some, you know, a little bit of freedom to work here. So here we go, watch this. BG on the keyboard will bring this um, dialog up for your visibility graphics overrides, okay? If I click on filters, I'm gonna um, just remove that filter. So, look, so just so that there's no filters, there's no filters here. If I hit edit new, that's how you create a new filter. I'm gonna click edit new, okay? And just for ease, I'm gonna delete these other filters out of the project. Just for fun, I'm gonna delete them all. Boom, boom, boom. I just want to get them out of there. I should have got them out of there before I called you guys. Yeah, I got rid of all the filters. So let me just, from scratch, if you click this little button here for, it looks like a piece of paper with a star on it. You click that and you got to give this thing a name. And I'm just going to call it um, ducts, ducts, simple as that. Okay, okay, ducts. So what I need to do is uh, this filter is going to grab all the ducts. But so so that being said, I'm going to I just set my discipline here on mechanical and I'm going to come down and anything that says ducts, I'm going to highlight it. Like the duct accessories and the fittings, insulation, lining. Here's some placeholders, ducts. Now that's not all of them. There's a couple more you need to get, and this is a trick. A little bit further down are the flex ducts, okay? Because you don't want to miss those. Flex ducts, and you have to go all the way up to the top also and get the air terminals. If you don't get those, then um, your the terminals, the actual terminal that blows the air in or sucks the air out is going to be the wrong color. So in my humble opinion, those are the ones that you grab. Air terminals, anything that says duct on it, and flex ducts. And when you say Okay, that's all you have to do. You don't have to go over here and fix any of these filter rules because anything that is a duct, I want it to turn black. So I'm just going to hit OK. Okay. It brings me back to this main dialog. So all I've done, friends, is created a filter that can be used in a plan view, in a section, in a reflective ceiling plan, in 3D. I can use this filter anywhere. So now that I'm in this view, this, let me pull it out of the way, this section view, I hit add and it says, which filter do you want to add? And I click ducts and I say, okay. Now, if I uncheck this box right here under visibility, the ducts all turn off, but I don't want to turn off all the ducts. I want to turn them black. So I go here, look at this. Projection and surface lines. The lines is what I want to turn off. So, or black. So I click under lines, not patterns or transparency. I'm just going to hit lines and I click on that and I set the color to black. Okay. Now, this filter is going to grab automatically, it's going to grab everything with ducts. It's going to grab the air terminals. It's going to grab the flex ducts. And because I just switched the color to black, now it's going to apply black to all ducts. So when I say, I'm going to have to scroll down. There it is. Okay. When I hit okay, watch for it. Boom. Just like that. Every single duct in the whole project just turned black in this um, view. If I go to the 3D view, okay, in my plan, I can wait for it. Wait for it. Things are a little slow today. Look at that. Oh, man. If I want this 3D view to be all black, I can apply the filter here also. So I'm just going to go to VG, go to filters, 
There's no filters applied yet. I can hit add because I don't have to create a new one. It's already created. I have to hit add and I say ducts. Okay, so now it's grabbing all the ducts, but it wants to know what I'm going to do with them. I want the lines to turn black. I can make them turn any color I want, but if I turn them black and say, okay, twice, wait for it. Wait, wait for it. There it is. Bam. Okay. That is how you first I showed you how they do it and why they why they do it so they can organize their life back in their project. Okay. They can um they can colorize the surface also. Sometimes the surface, not just the outline of these things. And you would have to override the surface and turn it white if you want to, or um, turn off the color. Okay. So anyway, that right there is how you turn the lines that you keep seeing in your 3D views, in your sections, and in your plans, how to turn them black when they're coming in colored from the MEP file. All right. I hope, my friends, that that um, clears that up and um, that it helps you along the way as you're dealing with that. All right. You guys have a fantastic day. And until we meet again, happy reveting. All right. Bye-bye.